Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. Actually, many of you have asked me how do I draw my uh, electrical circuit schematics. Actually, I'm using Inkscape for, all, for most of my uh, scientific drawings. Uh, so I will share this knowledge with you. Um, uh, Inkscape is a free tool, everyone can download it and use it freely. Uh, I will leave the link to the uh, download in the description below. Um, so let's delve directly into drawing a simple uh, electrical circuit uh, schematic as drawn here. Uh, we have an EC source VS and its associ associated uh, source resistance RS uh, connected uh, to a parallel connection of uh, capacitor and inductor and the output is taken uh, at the inductor side and we have here a difference AC ground, uh, a reference ground. So we need to do, uh, to plot this on Inkscape. Uh, so first, uh, to facilitate our uh, process of drawing uh, the uh, the electrical uh, in electrical circuit schematic, we need to download a folder with the extension uh, dot vgs uh, dot svg. Uh, go to Google and the uh, and the, uh, I uh, forgot to tell you that uh, um, the installation process of Inkscape is very straightforward. You just click, uh, you just click some uh, next buttons until you successfully install it. So after this, uh, you go to Google and write Electrical Simples Library SVG and uh, click on the first uh, link and uh, go here to download uh, and click on full resolution and uh, you, you as you see we have all of our electrical samples and uh, with the electronic components uh, transistors uh, resistors the capacitor the ac uh, the ground samples the uh, independent sources and dependent sources the digital blocks all of these are here uh, so we go we right click here and uh, click on save as and uh, save it in in any folder but remember the location because we will open it again uh, i actually downloaded it so i will not download it again uh, so directly we go to open uh, inkscape uh, We wait until it opens. As we see, it has been opened. You will uh, uh, you will see this window. Click on new, new document to start a new project. Uh, first, you save the project by clicking on File and the Save As. Uh, let's uh, uh, name it Tutorial. Uh, then. Uh, I will show the page grid. Click on view, page grid. It will help us in, in uh, organizing our schematic. So first, we need our symbols. Um, uh, the EC source, the resistor, the capacitor, and the inductor, and the ground symbol. So we go here and open the file we have been downloaded. Uh, file, open. And uh, I have uh, saved it in the download section. So downloads and click on electrical samples library. Uh, I, will, uh, I wait until it opens uh, as we see. But uh, we need to minimize this uh, zoom out. So I click on control and just scroll down with the mouse and go here to the left. And I uh, choose uh, this EC source just by copy and paste. So click on Control C to copy and go to your project and paste. Uh, in the same way, we import all of these. Uh, the, uh, um, copy the resistor and then uh, paste it here. Uh, copy the capacitor. Um, and paste it here uh, then uh, copy the inductor here and uh, paste it uh, here 
uh, we need to rotate the, the, the inductor uh, 90 degrees uh, clockwise uh, so I choose it as uh, indicated I choose it uh, and sele or select it and click on uh, this rotation arrow uh, it will be rotated like this uh, we need uh, to zoom in uh, a little bit uh, we uh, we have problem here, we do not need this 50 volts, so you select this uh, simple and the click, right click on it and the choose ungroup. Uh, then it choose 50 volts, uh, select 50 volts and the click on that lead button. Uh, then it choose all of this, simple like this, by dragging and selecting all of this. Uh, and right click again and click group. Uh, then we are just a, uh, just to organize the components like this and uh, make this a little bit closer in order to in order to uh, wire between these components we click here on this uh, simple and uh, click here left with the left button uh, here we we need to go to uh, to the right, but uh, with the uh, but with the ninety degrees corner or or right angle corner. So here I need to go to the left with the right angle corner. So I click here with the with the left bottom of the mouse, and then go to the right and click here in order to escape. And not completing drawing uh, uh, the line, we click at the end twice with the lift to bottom. So I skip. Uh, uh, we see that in order to escape from uh, drawing lines mode, we go here to this uh, simple, uh, the other simple, and click on it. We have escape. Uh, you see that the 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 resistor. We have two problems here. First, the, pre the resistor is not aligned with uh, with this wire or with this line, so we need to make it align. So select it and uh, play with its dimension like this. Bring it a little bit down, so it has been aligned. The second uh, problem with that, uh, the dimensions of the AC source or the dimension of the drawing of the resistor at the AC source and the line is not uh, the same. So we, in order to make all of the width uh, and the dimension, uh, in order to make uh, the width of the, all the components and wire connections to be the same, we go to object, we select object and uh, select the fill and stroke. And uh, then go to go to stroke uh, stroke style, and uh, you need to make uh, you select uh, any component or any simple like this, and uh, we need to make it uh, one millimeter width. Uh, you can uh, you can make the width with a millimeter or centimeter or inches or any other uh, pixels whatever. Um, but we here we deal with millimeter, so I make, for example, the width to be one millimeter. So I need the wire to be one millimeter again. So uh, write one millimeter and then click on enter. Uh, the same thing for the resistor. Uh, the same thing for the capacitor. The same thing for the inductor and uh, we need uh, you can complete the wire connections with the same way you click here connect here go to the left with the right corners uh, with right uh, angle corner uh, again right angle corner to up you need to skip from here you just uh, click twice on the left bottom you go here right angle corner you click once with the left bottom of the mouse go to the left you need to escape click twice with the left bottom in the same manner you complete all of the drawing and you can make uh, the segment in the same way to be 
you choose any wire and make it one millimeter here one millimeter here one millimeter here one millimeter so we are left with just tick uh, writing uh, the vs and rsc all, all of these you click on this bottom, text bottom, a text bottom, and you click here you want to write here. Uh, so click, for example, uh, we named it uh, VS, so VS. In order to make the writing in the lytic shape, to make it uh, a little bit more nice, in a nice shape, you uh, first we need to make S a subscript. So select it and you click here on the toggle subscript it becomes a subscript and uh, then it shows all of this and you click on text then text on text and font and they make it uh, with the pell mt shape or pell mt style and you click on italic and they make the font size for example 28 and then apply as you see it becomes the writing style becomes a a little bit similar to latex writing the same way for writing the resistor rs choose s to be a subscript then select all of this and choose a pill mt style and italic and then font size 28 and then apply in order to skip from any mode you just click on this uh, arrow simple as i said before uh, then uh, you are left with uh, just uh, c uh, here C in the same manner pill uh, empty italic uh, 28 apply uh, here L uh, in the same way pill empty italic uh, 28 apply uh, you can write anything with the same manner for for example the last thing we want to write V out capital V out out to P subscript to choose that I will select it and make it subscript then choose or select all of this and make it PLMT italic um, 28 apply so we have completed our schematic drawing uh, so we are left with saving this with just the control s and uh, we need to export this image you you click on file as I as I made and uh, choose export PNG image and uh, click on, uh, click on the drawing uh, just to uh, select uh, the image uh, just to make the image include all of the drawing things in the project uh, then export here the location and the name of the of the image you can uh, freely uh, change this and then finally you click on export to export and you can go to this uh, location and uh, open open the image uh, I think it here Yes, tutorial. And this is the schematic. It's, uh, it has been uh, drawn in a very nice way. Uh, thanks for your watching and attention. Uh, if you need any other uh, drawing or schematics or any general drawings on uh, in Enkscape, uh, please write a comment below the video. Thanks again for your watching.